in a pinky colour. You can change it. Just play around with something that's going to suit. And then if you didn't like the bow in that place, you can put it um, in the center. If you wanted to, you could actually make this whole panel here, the contrast color, like that. You can make the bow smaller or larger. And see, I, I haven't actually drawn the flounce of the bow, but if you wanted to, you could actually draw it. So again, select this, hold down the control key, we go transform, reflect, we want to reflect it 90 degrees, press OK. Now the, <laughs> what I did is I didn't remember to copy. So if you go back, we just go control C, control V, so copy and paste. Now press the control key again, transform, reflect, 90 degrees, here we go. Now what we want to do is move this to the front. So we go Control, Arrange, Bring to Front. Move this in a little bit closer. And then what you might like to do is add a little bit of detail to it. So we'll just draw some lines. Now the lines, I tried to sort of the smaller lines, um, which are not the outlines, I try and make it um, like a little bit thinner because it's not a major detail point and just makes your designs look a little bit better. So you have it quite nice. So. What you can see is from one design, I've just created two completely different dresses that look quite professional. You can even add straps onto it if you wanted to. I get a little bit carried away when I design. I'm just like, no, it's not finished. So I'm going to group all of this together so you can either hit control or um, group or you can do control G that's the hotkey so go control C for copy control V for paste and we hit control again transform reflect 90 degrees and now we have some straps to our dress What you could do is even add ties like um